What is up guys, Charlie here with Char Media Group. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create high quality designs in Photoshop. A lot of you have been asking me, why are my designs blurry? Why are they this? Why are they that? And the answer is not very simple. It's easier to show you. So I'm going to hop into Photoshop and I'm going to actually show you how to create a high quality design and teach you how to keep that quality throughout the design process. So um, as you can see in front of you, these are a bunch of designs that I have done. Some of them were done in Illustrator, some were done just in Photoshop, but it's really hard to tell which ones were done in Illustrator because the quality is still there in Photoshop. So um, that's a main thing that a lot of people struggle with. So let's tackle that right now and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will be masters at quality. So without further ado, let's hop into Photoshop and get started. What is up guys? I missed you so much. I know I've been gone for a while. I was so excited to make another video for you guys. I've been working nonstop and plus Pokemon Go came out and I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have been playing that nonstop. Literally me and my girlfriend have been walking around town accomplishing so many kilometers just to hatch our eggs and stuff. So anyway, Team Mystic all the way by the way. So if you guys are on the other teams, you suck. I'm just kidding. But anyway, I'm really excited to make another video for you. Um, just recently I hit over 10k subscribers and that's something that I've really been working hard towards so I wanted to appreciate or I wanted to thank you guys for all your support and um, just basically telling your friends about me sharing the videos hitting that thumbs up I've gotten a lot of support from you guys so again thank you so much um, but anyway today we're gonna be tackling a huge issue um, with a lot of people in Photoshop people create designs but they're not up to par as far as quality goes and they go to print them and they look like crap so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix that and hopefully by the end of the video like I said you're gonna be able to create a high quality design no problem Alright guys, so before you even start designing, you need to worry about setting up your canvas correctly because this is the most crucial part you can think about before you design because let's say you don't set up your canvas correctly and you actually start designing and you finish your design and it just, you know, it doesn't look the way you want it to look as an end result. That's because your canvas wasn't set up correctly most of the time. So what you can do to fix that is you go to File New, let's go to File New, and then here's what's gonna pop up this little dialog box and this is gonna be how you set up your uh, your artboard or your canvas whatever you wanna call it now right off the bat we see a resolution of 72 that is a number one no-no because shirts should be printed at 300 resolution that's just the highest quality you can print at you could go higher or low, lower actually but there's no need to I've been using 300 resolution for all my shirt designs and they look great on shirts so like I said right off the bat we're gonna go to 300 resolution and then we're gonna actually switch these pixels to inches that's another really important thing. Now I always use 15 width, 14 to 15 width, and then 19 height. And that's my shirt designs right there. And I, I always try to, you know, keep my designs within those boundaries. And, and a lot of times I'll make it smaller than that, but that's just to, you know, that's a guide to how big my shirt design should be. So once you set this up, you can go ahead and click OK, and you're going to be left with this high quality canvas that you're ready to work with now. Alright guys, so now that we set up our canvas correctly, we're going to go over the key component to making a high quality design. A lot of people overlook this too, and that's layers. Now the reason why people overlook layers is because it's something that's used but not really understood. Now people use them obviously to create their design, but they don't understand how they actually work. So let me explain how they work, because I think if you actually get this down, you guys can make really awesome designs that are high quality. So anyway, so we have two types of layers, guys. We have rasterized layers and we have smart object layers. A smart object layer is basically when you draw a, a shape out, this is a smart object layer. And you can tell by this little box that's on the thumbnail here. That's a smart object layer, okay? And smart objects can basically be resized to any size and they're not going to lose quality. So I'm going to demonstrate how that looks real quick. So we're going to draw out two shapes. We're going to draw out two thunderbolts. One's going to be uh, red for a rasterized layer and one's going to be green for a smart object layer. And you're going to see the difference right now to, um, you know, you're going to see the quality difference. Sorry, one second. I'm using a Mac now, by the way. I switched from a PC to a Mac. And I'm very happy that I switched because I really did not like my PC. But anyway, so we're going to make the smart object green and the rasterized layer red. So we're going to go ahead and rasterize this layer real quick, the red layer. And at first glance, you don't see any difference, right? Obviously, we didn't do anything to it yet. But let's go ahead and resize these together and let's see which one holds up better. 
So the, we're going to make them really small, and now we're going to make them really big. And what you're going to start to notice is the left one, which is the rasterized layer, looks super blurry. Look at that. Oh, really ugly, right? And then the smart object is keeping proportion uh, or pixel proportion and quality. And that's exactly what we need to create a high quality design. If you rasterize your layers and resize them a bunch of times, this is what you're going to get. And it's going to print really ugly too. So as you can see, this one's really blurry and this one's crisp. And let's zoom in to see the real quality difference. So rasterize layer, rasterize layer, and smart object layer. So that's it, guys. That's really all you need to know to create high-quality shirt designs. Make sure you're using smart object layers, not rasterized layers. Rasterized layers have very few uses, and you only use them when you really need to use them. Like if you're doing shadows or shading or you know, you know, inside text decoration or inside shape decoration. Like if I were to add a shadow inside here, I can make that a rasterized layer, no problem. But anyway, that is it, guys. Alright guys, that does it for this video. Today we learned how to create a high quality design in Photoshop using two key components. The first one is canvas setup and the second is mastering layers. If you do both of these things, I'm confident that your designs will look a million times better. Okay, so that is it guys. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Tell me what you thought in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.